The art collection housed in the Detroit Institute of Arts Museum, or DIA, draws throngs of visitors from around the world each year. You can tell the story of Western art through this collection. Which makes it hard to put a price tag on it, says Detroit Free Press art reporter Mark Stryker. It's uh, invaluable, irreplaceable. But a price is the very thing Detroit's emergency manager, Kevin Orr, seeks as he takes the city through bankruptcy, says Wayne State University law professor Laura Bartell. At the very beginning of this bankruptcy case, Kevin Orr made it clear that he believed that the city of Detroit owned the assets of the DIA. It is a city-owned collection, and that makes it different from almost every other museum in America, uh, which operate as independent private nonprofits. As the complex bankruptcy case winds through federal court, or enlisted Christie's auction house to value the collection, with one important caveat. He asked Christie's to specifically evaluate only the works in the collection that were bought by the city directly. That translates into about 2,000 items, roughly 5% of the DIA's 66,000 works. But it does include some of the premier pieces, including Vincent van Gogh's self-portrait with hat. Christie's evaluated those works to be worth somewhere between 450 million up to about 870 million dollars. In 2012, voters in three surrounding counties supported a property tax hike to fund the museum in exchange for free admission. Stryker says any sale of the DIA's assets could inflict more damage than simply losing its important pieces. They would rescind the tax if the, uh, any art were sold. And so that means that any sale would maybe quite quickly lead to the closure of the museum. Which means emergency manager Kevin Orr was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Would you want to be the man who went down in history of, as the man who destroyed the Detroit Institute of Arts? I don't think anybody wants to be in that position. And if he can craft a plan of, of adjustment without selling DIA assets, he's going to do it. That plan got a boost in January from several national foundations, including the Ford Foundation and the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation. Together, they've pledged about $330 million to keep the DIA's assets off the auction block. The DIA would be spun off from the city to create a separate nonprofit, separate from city control, so that this kind of situation, the, the museum would never find itself in this situation again. The amount pledged does fall below Christie's appraisal of the items, and creditors could seek more money. But the proposed deal offers Orr a way out of the crisis, and Stryker says it is the most promising option on the table to keep the DIA's art in Detroit. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Detroit, Michigan.